People are making money on YouTube. Sixty-six hundred dollars. Four thousand and two dollars. Two hundred and six thousand. For a takeaway every single day. This is the story of how I got monetized really fast in only two videos. The amount of money that you can make varies from niche to niche. I'd be considered a very small YouTuber, but we can change that together. Right now, hit that subscribe button. My name is Christian but you can call me Lil. So the threshold for getting monetized is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. I hit that threshold. I got 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours on exactly the same day. I immediately applied for monetization and let's just say drank a bottle of champagne. But I've had YouTube channels in the past and this is the first time that I've ever had like some grand strategy for getting monetized. I didn't really know how much YouTube paid before. I heard the, the same figure parroted over and over that you make two dollars, two dollars, two dollars per thousand views. But I made way more money than that in my first month as a monetized YouTuber. My first monetized month is finishing up actually today. So my first YouTube paycheck from AdSense is coming my way soon and I'll be revealing exactly what the total was in a video next week. Now in the last couple of years I've made a very conscious decision to focus more on passive income. At first I thought maybe it was too late to start YouTube like the ship has sailed but I convinced myself I know it's not too late to start YouTube 2021 2022 and I devised a strategy to get monetized as fast as I could and it worked. <laughs> it took a little bit longer than I thought but it worked. So in this video I'm gonna walk you through those exact same steps and I believe that you can do exactly the same thing to get monetized fast. So most of my subscribers know me from just two videos. This one and this one. To my current subscribers, you guys are all entrepreneurs and hustlers, so I hope it doesn't come as a major shock that I had a strategy in place to get you guys on here and to make money with my YouTube channel. That doesn't take away from anything I've said, it's all 100% true, and uh, I just wanna say thank you. I hope that you guys also consider YouTube and AdSense as a potential revenue stream. I know it's something that's talked about a lot, but I still think it's maybe under-tapped, because I, I had no idea just how much money you could make from it. I am, I am su honestly surprised. So the first thing that you need to do and the first thing that I did is I picked a demographic. I always knew from the beginning that I wanted to attack a entrepreneurs and entrepreneurship. So instead of focusing on a very specific niche, I decided that I was going to focus on a specific person. A lot of people are gonna tell you to niche down, to, to publish X number of how-to videos plus then one like shock factor. The goal of niching down is to get repeat viewership to tell YouTube that your channel is worth it to a certain type of person. It might work in the short term, but what it also does is it puts you in this box. If you were to make a channel about drop shipping, for example, you might have a very wide array of drop shippers, but the only thing they have in common is drop shipping. So as soon as you make a video that's not about drop shipping, they don't care anymore. You're going to be stuck continually making videos about drop shipping. I've seen channel after channel put themselves in this box. I started off with DoorDash. I've even seen DoorDash channels that seem to be also in this box. And I've seen a few channels that try to move away and then they lose viewers and they go back to it and I don't want to be there. So instead of focusing on a very specific niche, I decided that I was going to focus on a specific person. I focused on that particular person's wants, their desires, their fears, their, their questions about life. And this part is actually pretty easy because I just it's just me. So that particular person, Christian, or you can call me Lil if you want. If you want to know who my viewers are, they're intelligent, but maybe a little bit undereducated. They're ambitious, but maybe not 100% happy with where they are in life. They value their freedom above security. They are open-minded in business and in life, and they're not afraid of change. They love solving problems, and they're very caring, maybe even too caring at times. And if I can just continue making videos that would appeal to myself, I think that I can get that repeat viewership with without locking myself down into a single box. So if you're gonna get monetized in only two videos, here's your first video. It has to be shocking. I made over $12,000. If the story doesn't exist, you have to create it. In that month leading up to my $12,000 month at DoorDash, I was only averaging about $9,000 a month. Leading up to that period, I saw a lot of $10,000 month videos. I told my wife, I said, I think that if I can make it to $12,000, it's gonna make a kick-ass YouTube video. I wasn't even worried. I mean, of course I like having money and everything, but what I wanted is I wanted to hit that goal so that I could make that YouTube video. I could put that in the headline. So if you need to make your headline work, then do it. If it didn't work out, at least I had $12,000, right? <laughs> <laughs> it needs to have a shocking title and it needs to be structured like a how-to. This is going to be the first video that anybody sees you on. 
So it's going to have to be immediately attractive to a, to a wide range of people. I'm appealing to the entrepreneur, I'm appealing to the hustler, but I'm also appealing to that person who sees DoorDash as like their main job and doesn't have any interest in entrepreneurship. Now the second video, what it's gonna do is it's gonna weed out the people you don't really want subscribing to you. It's going to be a lot of people's second point of contact and it's probably going to be the one that gets you the most subscribers. If you guys don't know, my second video was about why DoorDash is not going to last forever. It's essentially equally shocking to the $12,000 a month. 70,000 people that watched the first video and it's bringing them back to a second video. Anybody who's still interested in me is a little bit more forward thinking is a little bit more entrepreneurial, is a little bit more interested in nuance. That's the type of person who I want subscribing to my channel. It's a two video process where you plan one shocking video and that second video, it's gonna weed out the people who you know are not your subscribers. That second video also has to be true or at least you have to believe it and you have to be able to back it up with data. It has to be very useful information, do not bullshit people. So if you were to follow this same formula and you were like say a photography channel for example, I'm a photographer and I made $5,000 in my first month as a professional photographer. I'm actually coming out with that video soon, I think it's gonna be killer. Uh, but I think that if you're a photographer and you wanna make a photography channel, you could, you could easily make the same type of video. I made $10,000 with the bookings last month as a professional photographer, here's how you can do it too. That's your first video. Your second video is how, how smartphones are killing our industry or how to survive as a photographer in the smartphone era, something controversial. You're obviously grabbing attention with the first video, $10,000 worth of bookings in the last month, and then you're, you're grabbing somebody who's a little bit more forward thinking in, and, and a little bit more connected to your story in that second video. I wanna be 100% honest with you guys. We devised this strategy back in June of last year. Um, we published the first video in July. It, it kind of flopped. I had already had the second video planned. It didn't really work out the way we thought it would. And I, January 1st, something of a New Year's resolution, we made a decision. We started promoting that video. We were going to, we knew we were going to make it work. We said, this is a great story. It's going to work. Throughout the course of January, it just went up and up and up. It had been picked up, obviously, by the YouTube algorithm. And when, when it hit a couple thousand views a day, we're like, bam, it's time to publish that second video. That first video still has only gained us like 700 and something subscribers. So we would still not be monetized if it weren't for the second one. That second video is really the key there. The first one has to get popular and then you have to hit it right at the right time. So I'm gonna say something that might be a little bit controversial, but if you've been following me along, I, I really hope that you think of me as consistent. You should absolutely be looking for multiple streams of income. It does not matter what you do currently. If you're a DoorDash driver, if you're an Etsy seller, if you're a, a proper entrepreneur, business owner with a brick and mortar store, you should be looking to diversify your income. And I personally believe that YouTube monetization is one great way to do that. Not only does it help you increase your domain authority in a specific topic, but it also helps you with another stream of income. I have to be honest, it's a lot more money than I thought and I could retire to a cheap country right now if I wanted to. <laughs> if you've made it all the way to the end, thank you guys so much for getting here. Remember that I would like to see you on YouTube. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. I want to hear about your domain expertise. There is a wealth of information, but it's not too late to get started on YouTube in 2022. In this video, I've given you a two-pronged process to get monetized fast.